yesterday I uh, yesterday it was your first training uh, with KL since uh, you appointed as a KL coach, is it? Yeah. So how does it feel, coach? Well, it's good to be back on the pitch. I think that all players, all staff are happy that we start trainings again and the things continue as before. Uh, it was, I know lots of players, so it's good. It's advantage for me. There is very few of them that I didn't seen before or that I didn't work with them. So I think it will be good for both sides to, to understand each other really quickly. How the excitement of your players since they are you get back to the training. <clears throat> but you can see that they, they technically they have a little bit problem with the ball. <laughs> they didn't <laughs> in for a long time. But uh, physically it was not not so bad. You can see that they were working in uh, during the they, they were doing following individual program that we give them to do, to to follow and uh, at the end I think that you can see that they are hungry, they want to play. The moment when we start to play Immediately, they were not tired. They were not. Uh, they were. They were happy, you know. So you can see that they are excited about it. How do you plan uh, for? <coughs> how do you plan for the training in these three weeks? Uh, very short, short period tra training. It's uh, 18 days. It's not three weeks. Three weeks, 21 days. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> almost. Yeah. We will. We will do some. Uh, we will have few friendlies. We need to do a few physical training, especially this will be the biggest problem for everybody. And uh, we will try to, in the friendlies, to give everybody a chance. The younger players, older players, so it's at the end, you know, the, the only uh, place where you can earn your uh, first 11 position is on the field. Uh, beside the friendly match, what else uh, you will do? Um, I mean, what, what else will will be the focus on your training? Well, you need to always to work tactics. You need to work lots of individual things with the players. But uh, as I said, for, our, for us at the moment, uh, because some of the players are new, they need matches together. So they need to play as much as possible together. I know in that, uh, Slango will be the one, uh, the opponent in this uh, sparring match. Um, another team coach? Uh, we now we are finalizing two or three friendly matches more, but I don't have confirmation letter. Then better I will not talk about this until we confirm everything officially. Mm, okay, Kush, uh, your um, uh, regarding your your choice or your or your selection to choose um, Kevin Raymanoza. Okay, uh, beside the experience. What is the other factor that uh, you bring this uh, player? It's very simple. We have only two goalkeepers that are, let's say, ready to play in the, the top divisions. We have two very young goalkeepers without experience. That is our President Cup players. So because of that, uh, we needed one more extra goalkeeper. And because we have one more slot uh, for Southeast Asian player, at the end we decide to sign Kevin. So I think that now we will have three good goalkeepers. Yesterday I talked to, to other two and I told them they all starting from zero. So there is no first choice, second choice, third choice. For me, I'm new. Everybody will prove themselves. So they start from zero and it will be good, good motivation, you know, that they push each other for mm -hmm. the top position. And for every position, you must have at least two players. So same thing is with goalkeeper position. Uh, is that the modern football uh, also one of the factor you bring Kevin Raymondza because uh, football right now has to build up from goalkeeper. Is that the one of the factor, coach? He's playing. To be honest, he's slightly better. If you see the way they're playing with the leg, he's slightly better than the maybe guys here because. In Europe, they are focused on, on uh, these things, but uh, mm. to, for, for goalkeepers to play more. So I think that this will help the other two goalkeepers to become better. And uh, mm. except that, uh, as I said, uh, we will have lots of matches. This is the main thing for me because of the schedule, you know, because of COVID that there was big break and we will have tight schedule to finish all matches on time. Yeah. So because of this, you cannot depend of, of one goalkeeper because injuries yeah. can happen. 
suspensions can happen because at the end of the day, I believe that three of them that that everybody will have choice this season. It's always minimum two goalkeepers, but I believe sometimes even three goalkeepers will have chance. Uh, knowing that uh, also, coach, uh, you have a meeting with Katol yesterday. So, mm. what is the decision? Any decision uh, make it for Katol? I explain the same thing what I tell to you, I tell to him. So, at the end, he is the one who said that he wants to fight and he wants to stay. He wants to prove that he's better than the rest, which is excellent for coach. Yeah, but he wants to learn. So, uh, at the end, at the end, I, I give him that he choose. I give him my size of the story. I I told him that I need three goalkeepers. Everybody will have chance. And I told him if he wants to leave, if he wants to go on on loan, no issues. But at the end, after talking to me, I think that he he can see. Yesterday on training, he was fine. He was happy. And and today, I think that he will he will enjoy training. And as I said, everybody will have chance. Everybody start from zero. Okay, so it looked like uh, he will stay for KL. Yes. All right, Coach. That's it. So, uh, when ah yeah, one more, one last question, Coach. Uh, I think you will training without two imports because uh, they are they are still in their countries. So, yeah. No, Kevin is Kevin is here already. He's in quarantine. And oh. I just need to check. Uh, I, I just need to check when Giancarlo is arriving. He's also arriving very soon. So, mm. so um, I think that both of them in one week they will be they will join us. Kevin even will be less in four or five days. Mm. 